हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग गुड यू आर सेफ एंड यू आर एट योर होम सो टूडेज वीडियो इज अ चैलेंज वीडियो ट्वेंटी फोर आर रीडिंग चैलेंज और रीड इथ थॉन इफ यू गाइज नो आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ चैलेंज सीरीज ऑन माई चैनल एंड माई फर्स्ट चैलेंज वॉज थर्टी डे सैलेड चैलेंज इन केस यू गाइज आर इंटरेस्टेड आई एम गुड पुट दैट वीडियो समवे हियर प्लीज चेक इट आउट इट्स अ सुपर फन वीडियो and um, you can also take up a salad challenge if you want so yes coming back to this video so as the name suggest i'm going i'll be reading for 24 hours and i'm going to show you through the clips how it went i'm also going to share my reasons why i took this challenge and i'm also going to share how i feel after taking this challenge so without any further ado let's get started so i had two reasons for taking this challenge one i have been watching a lot of 24 hour reading videos and it really you know inspired me and mai chahti thi mai khud bhi ye challenge lu and that was the biggest reason why i really wanted to take up this challenge two ever since the lockdown started no book was holding my interest i was actually moving from one book to the other book and it was really you know getting disappointing that i can't finish even one book and this challenge felt like a wonderful opportunity where i can sit and complete all the books i have started not all but at least you know get through some of the books and be like i'm done with those books so yes this was another big reason to take up this challenge also guys if you have been following my monthly review series video uh to aapko pata hoga for this year my reading goal was 25 books this year and it actually started real well like i finished four books just at the beginning of the year and i was even expecting to read more books but then like i said things went a bit downhill and reading took a back seat and i want to get back to it so that's one of the biggest reason why i'm taking this challenge and it felt like super fun and it also felt like that my day would be totally productive and i wanted to even see how many non fiction books i can read in one day so in the next few clips i'm going to show you which books i read So I'm just done with this book The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Mary Kondo. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I am a super fan of this book. I have reviewed this book as well on my channel and if if you guys are interested, I'm going to put this video somewhere here where I did review this book. So this book is like super special to me and I wanted to reread it again and I did start off and I was only left 20 pages into this book. Well, I almost forgot about it, never got back to this book, and I thought what better way to start this challenge by going back to this book and completing it. So I just completed it and I'm super happy. It's 10 o'clock already. I woke up late today around 9 o'clock, and now I'm just going to make myself some breakfast and then um I'm going to start with the next book okay guys so my next book is rich dad poor dad um if you guys been following my channel you guys know that i started this book long back but then i don't know what happened and i again kind of left it in between i think it's all because of this um quarantine and the pandemic started that we were totally at home and after that i was just you know getting bored quickly so i was switching between the books anyway so Uh I'm almost uh, done with this book as you can see I'm only left with 100 more pages I have to start from chapter number 6 so there are just roughly 100 pages here I've counted yes there are 100 pages more so I'm going to take it next uh but this book is non fiction uh it has a lot to teach you so it is really heavy I am not just going to read it for the sake of just 
uh, reading it if I feel I might take breaks in between because that's how heavy this book is it has a lot to teach you so yes you need to be at the right headspace you know to take up all this knowledge anyway I'm gonna start with this book now <laughs> I'm almost done with one and a half chapters and I would like to take a break now because it's getting too heavy for me so I have decided to take a break and I'm gonna head for my shower and then have my lunch and then I'll be back okay guys lunch is done shower is done and now I'm going back to reading another book and then after that I'll give rich dad poor dad the second go so the next book I really want to read guys is Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis and I have heard so many good reviews about this book. So I'm going to give it a go. There is a free sample provided in the Apple books in the iPhone and if I like it I'm just going to purchase this book and probably it's going to take me 15 to 20 minutes to finish the sample pages provided. Yes they give you a good amount of pages so as to decide whether you should proceed buying the book or not. And let's see how it goes. So far, I was really enjoying the book and I decided to purchase it. It was a really sunny day, so I decided to go out and read this book. Really enjoyed this book while sitting outside in the sun. I've just come back and it's 7 p.m. already but I have finished the book Girl Stop Apologizing. Um, I think reading from the phone really slowed down my pace if that makes sense and my eyes are slightly hurting now. really enjoyed the book. Uh, the book talks about self-love, um, about pursuing your dreams and setting goals and then achieving them and how not to worry about what judgmental people have to say about you when your dreams and just following what feels right to you so it was really nice it was just that reading from the phone made it slight slow for me but i love the book now i'm gonna take a break and i'm gonna start again with rich dad poor dad after i have my dinner guys i'm done with my dinner and it's 8 p.m and i have changed into my comfy clothes and i'm gonna get back to rich dad poor dad my second go at this book um, only few pages are left now I think two and a half chapters but like I said it's non-fiction and it's heavy so anyway we're just gonna get back to it and I'm just gonna start reading this book now <music> Thank you. 
I'm gonna take a 10 minute break now because uh, that's a lot to take in and then I'm gonna get back to this book again uh, I guess only a few more pages are left but I am reading it slowly and really taking it all in also my eyes are paining a lot now so I'm just gonna take a 10 minute break finally I'm done with this book Rich Dad Poor Dad and it's already 11 p.m. I don't think I can read any more now. So guys, I'm going to call it a day. Now my experience with this challenge, this challenge was really good. I could finally finish three books. Uh, one was the um, life changing magic of tidying up. The other one, rich dad, poor dad, finally. And the third one, girl, stop apologizing, which I purchased through Apple books. Um, so like I said, it was a wonderful experience. I could finish three non-fiction books, which is a lot. As you know, non-fiction books are a lot to take in at one go. Uh, there's a lot of reflection, introspection required while doing these books. And I was really, you know, happy with the result I got that I could finish three of these books and actually grasp in whatever was said in the book and just not finish it for the sake of finishing it. And I'm going to review these books on my Instagram in case you are interested. My Instagram handle is thismighthelp.tmh. Um, so follow me there if you would like to know the review of these three books. This time I would also like to try this challenge with some fiction books or a mix of fiction and non-fiction and see how many can I read in 24 hours. So guys, like always, if you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can be updated with all my latest videos. And it really means a lot when you subscribe to my channel. So guys, please do meet me next Thursday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye, guys.